Hi there, it's Candice, and this is, I wanted to give an update to this timeline of world history by Sarah Brown from The Thinking Tree. Um, it's it's open-ended, and I've shown some uh, videos before of how we were going to use it, and I've kind of updated the way that we decided to use it. I tried to make it so it was not totally evenly spaced throughout, but more evenly spaced throughout, just so as uh, we flip through it, we kind of get an idea of world history. Um, so as you can see, I've updated it and we have included some pictures that um, came with our first grade curriculum, our sons in second grade. And uh, first grade was Bible history. And so this, this first section, of course, is going to be like Old Testament Bible and instead of putting it in a timeline, we use my father's world. Instead of putting it in a an accordion style timeline, which was going to end up being like really thick by the end of it, um, we've started using this instead and just kind of taken it away from the accordion timeline and glued it into here. So it just really kind of brings to life space between world history events. And as we go further into our curriculum, um, we will, of course, fill it in more. And so here we get into the AD, and we haven't done very much yet here because we're doing American history. So um, we got Leif Erikson, and then we did Christopher Columbus. Here's some more that we need to glue in here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how we have changed it um, over time. So the last, oh, 15 to 30 pages are, um, you know, like this year and future years, kind of, she recommends using it as kind of a scrapbook. So that's, we have it going all the way up to 2035, which I think I calculated was somewhere around when our daughter will be graduating uh, high school. Um, yeah, it's a little, it's a little after that, actually. But uh, anyway, so this is how we've updated it, and... Um, we just made it so it's a little bit more evenly spaced so that when the the kids open it, we can just get a better idea of how events are spread out through world history from 5000 BC to, to you know, 2030, 2035 AD. Thank you.